Hello, here we are with another participant at this wonderful Agora in Bucharest. Uh, who are you? I'm Matthias Felder and I'm envoy of HRC at this Agora. What is the HRC? The HRC is the Human Resource Committee, so our main goal is to support the committee director for their work about uh, HR, but of course we also um, draft and work a lot of, in general, like about HR for the network, so every, for every local and for every member. I saw these very nice little papers at the door where you could uh, uh, appreciate thanks to some people. So this is what the HRC is doing? Yes, that's one of our, one of our uh, projects we do. Um, it was, it's called Agora Experience. So we had the idea, or at least our members had the idea, uh, to make the Agora kind of a more nicer experience for everyone. And you can improve a lot with like really small things like those compliments puts a smile on the face on people and that's uh, the best reward you can get. I guess an event which lasts four days and it has very tiring even moments, it's probably very good. But you also did the Agora mentorship, mentoring, right? Exactly. How is, this, how is that working out? How many mentees and mentors do you have? Uh, I'm not totally aware of the numbers. I think in total we have around about 60 or 70 people joining the project. Um, it's like one third are mentors and two thirds round about are mentees. And <clears throat> in my opinion, it's a really, really important uh, project, uh, not only for the mentees, but actually also for the mentors to be aware what is going on at the Agora, how it works, and that everyone kind of knows um, what is going on and nobody feels like, I don't know what's going on. So you can discuss it together. We have meetings at the Agora, live meetings, uh, to discuss about stuff whenever someone is uh, like not sure or needs a clarification what is going on. Yeah. Human Resource Energy has basically two main pillars. One is the HRC, but there's also something called the Academy. Yes. And you're now new in the Academy board, right? Exactly. I'm uh, elected now for the HR um, responsible in the Academy board. Yes. Awesome. And uh, so what are your plans for your term in the Academy? Um, well, there are quite some. I think I, like, I really appreciate the work the current board did so far with uh, like organizing two TNTs, one TAT, so really like trying to educate the like, people in our network to become trainers because that's, in my opinion, one of the main points of IG is like to educate people. And if we are not able to do that, perhaps IG is even obsolete, in my opinion. Um, so that's for sure something I want to work like further on, like to develop Academy further. Um, and also I think what is right now a little bit missing and what is also in the end I think my, um, or deals with my responsibility is like to create kind of a community feeling within Academy. Mm -hmm. Like since it's only an online, like it's, it's kind of functioning like a local but it's only online, so you only meet uh, with Skypes, Hangouts, whatever, you share documents, whatever. Perhaps you sometimes meet at the Agora, uh, but of course never every member can, can be at the Agora. Um, so a little bit of this community feeling where you feel like, hey, I'm really, like, I'm proud to be part of Academy and like, um, <coughs> Sorry, I, I know who else is part of Academy. I think that is lacking right now and that's for sure something I personally want to work on. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to work with the board in general. I think we have an amazing board, amazing people there uh, who are all already uh, really experienced and I, like, I'm really looking forward to it. Do you have some Academy events coming up this year anytime soon? Yes, we do, uh, like not before the summer so far, um, but we will have a European school about leadership uh, in autumn-ish. It's kind of not sure yet since we don't really know when the Agora in autumn is happening in Salerno. Uh, so of course we don't want to have it at the same time or like the, di directly the week after. Um, so the European, uh, like European school about leadership and we for sure will have another TNT, so training new trainers. Uh, also happening in autumn. <coughs> yeah, sounds very good. Let's talk a bit about the Agora here. Mm -hmm. So how many Agoras have you visited so far? Uh, this is now my seventh Agora. Seventh Agora, that's quite yes. a lot. Yes. Uh, and uh, so it, does it still feel like the first Agora for you? Do you still feel the same enthusiasm as in the beginning? Um, yes and no. On the one hand, yes, because I now know what Agora is about and how it works. And if you are involved really in IG, you also know 
what is going to be discussed, you're way more in the process, like you can think back, oh, that was already discussed at previous Agoras, or like you're really more, way more in the process. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm more looking forward. Of course, on the other hand, I know the experience of like after the Agora being super, uh, sometimes even sick or like just like, Mentally and also uh, physically, really. Um, After they're catching the EG virus, literally. Uh, kind of, exactly. Yeah. So, so, what is for you the highlight of the Agora or the highlights of the Agora? About this specific Agora, I always like, in general, no, the first general, I always like the discussions. Like, sometimes they're super boring and they're super like, people think, oh, they're like not useful, whatever. But I love discussing, like it always shows me that like uh, democracy is a life and that actually people care about stuff because in my opinion it would be way more worse if there would be no discussion at all and it just would show that people don't care about it. Uh, so I always think even though it's about numbers or a comma or a point, whatever, every discussion is worth to do it um, and that's always what I'm, what I'm happy and I'm actually also looking forward to it. Uh, specifically about this Agora. Um, I'm kind of like my highlight is actually being the envoy of HSC. I really have the feeling that we have a, like we have an amazing team and kind of we really are able right now to create visibility for HSC and actually also putting HR on the topic. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, already showing that like I really really uh, are happy about the CD members and everything, but that no one of the application or of the applicants had HR mentioned as one of their main priorities or like main portfolios in the candidates mm -hmm. already shows that like HR is kind of everyone is aware of and like oh yeah HR is important but in the end it's like not really catchable and people in the end don't really think it's that useful or mm -hmm. that necessary and that's a, mm -hmm. sometimes a little bit sad whenever you talk to people you realize they have a different point of view um, but in general like HR I just repeat it, it's all about HR in the end. Uh, two more questions. Yes. One is about uh, drama. Agora is often connected to drama. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is a very dramatic Agora or not so much? I personally don't think. Like in comparison to the other Agoras, I don't think so. Um, I also don't like the approach always. Like I'm also kind of like you get indicated with like really like <clears throat> kind of also start sometimes oh what's going to happen so you're kind of waiting not waiting but like you're talking about gossip or like drama that could happen uh, but in the end I think it's also kind of part of the of the dis uh, discussion culture again to like of course it's emotional like uh, our our association is based on volunteering so about mm -hmm. the motivation that people have and the dedication so of course it's emotional thing what is all yeah. going up here or going on here um, so I think we shouldn't put too much on this like, oh, it's always a big drama, it's always, it's just like discussing. And of course, since people are dedicated and spend a lot of time at it, um, it can get emotional. The last question is about the local organization. Mm -hmm. uh, the organizers had some troubles, but in the end, basically, it, uh, it feels pretty good, doesn't it, to be here? Uh, it feels good to be here in general, like, as I already said, I, I really like the Agora. Um, to be honest about the local organizers, I think they did a good job, with, especially with the circumstances they had, like the short period of time and everything. Um, in comparison to the other Agoras, um, I would still say um, there would have been some space for improvement, of course, I think, especially when it came, when it came to the like distribution and what happened when, where. Um, that was sometimes a little bit lacking, but again, I think with the circumstances and everything, uh, we can just be really thankful that they organized it. Thank you very much. Thank you.